All right, let's talk surgical upper lip lift. So first of all, what is an upper lip lift? It's a procedure that's actually been around for a really long time where we're gonna naturally increase the height of your upper lip by excising a little bit of skin from right underneath the nose. This is a procedure that can be done under local anesthesia in about 30 to 45 minutes with a recovery of about one week of stitches and then one week where you need to, to do all you can to prevent a scar by putting on makeup and wearing a lot of sun protection. So this procedure is not for everyone. I would say that 50% of people are not good candidates for the procedure. And the main thing that's gonna determine that is gonna be the length of your entire upper lip. As we're excising skin from here in order to turn this area up, we're going to wanna to find a candidate who has a long upper lip as opposed to just small lips. People who are great candidates are people whose lips have thinned with age, and then we can continue to augment their lips by excising that extra skin because that's the reason that their lips have gotten thinner, it's that this skin has started drooping. When it comes down to it, one of the biggest benefits of the procedure is actually finances. This procedure is cheaper in the long run than it would be to get repeated filler injections every year. The other advantage over fillers is feel. A lot of people don't understand, but when you do have fillers, no matter what you do, you can still kind of feel them both on yourself and other people touching and feeling your lips, and that makes the feel not as good. Now, the recovery, like I said, does take about a week, but the actual procedure is done with on an operating or clinic table with just numbing medication, and the actual procedure is very easy. You'll go home that same day, you'll have some light bleeding, and have to take care of some stitches, but the stitches come out at day five and then the rest at day seven, and then you're good to go. The pain is fairly minimal. We just ask that you don't take any aspirin or Motrin before, and you can probably get back to work once the stitches are out, which is about a week of downtime. If you have any questions, feel free to continue reading or contact our office. Take care.